Okay, well, good morning. Uh, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I just woke up. I don't have work today because it's Sunday. Praise God. So anyway, uh, this is Autumn, and uh, I've done a couple upgrades that you can check out my other videos below. Um, and today, I'm simply going to do a um, install and review of this. It's called the Hard Street Finishing Saddlebag Kit. Uh, I also picked up the Right There um, shelf system, and uh, I'm going to be putting that together, as you'll see. Uh, the reason why I did it, this is strictly cosmetic. I mean, I've, I've done a couple other things cosmetically, but uh, this is strictly cosmetic. Um, and if you look inside your saddlebags, this can go for Harley Davidson or Indian or maybe a bike or two others. But when I was on their website, it for the most part, I only saw Harley Davidson and Indian. Um, but it can go on a ton of Indians and Harley Davidson bags. The reason why I wanted to do this is because, especially for the color I got, I got tan. I don't know if that's still, um, if that's still, uh, if you can still order it. But uh, you know, call them up. Maybe they might have a couple more, and maybe they might remake the tan ones. But I got tan. They do have a light gray and a black. But I wanted either the light gray or black for the reason I'm going to tell you here. I'm just bambling on. I'm still trying to have coffee. But either way, uh, when you open up your saddlebag, it's super dark. It's black in there. And it, if you have black gloves or sunglasses or a wallet and you just stuff it in there with all a bunch of other stuff, it gets lost in the sauce and lost in the lost in the, in the the blackness. And it's like, where, where's this? Where's this? You start rubbing the genie in some stuff by putting the tan color okay here's the tan color by putting the tan color in the black it'll it'll give uh, contrast and the contrast is what you want if you want to find things easily um, these are also if you can hopefully I'm in frame that's the directions that's it right there If you can't do Legos, don't buy this. If you never played with Legos, don't buy this. A monkey could put this together. Okay, so it's in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and the right there um, shelf system, as you saw, it gets, you'll see it when I get in there, it gets put right here. And you can even grab things while you're, while you're riding or stopped at a stoplight. Just open up your saddlebag, boom, it's right there. It's that simple. Um, so that's why I'm putting them on. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, start getting at it, okay? Semper Fi there. <coughs> so another thing that is you're going to be you're going to be putting some uh, hopefully permanent stick-ons to the inside of your saddlebag. Um, so if you're going to put anything sticky on something, on plastic or whatever, you want to get the dust and dirt out of there. Not only that, but because it's it's molded plastic or, or whatever type of, of non-metal material they use for the saddlebag, it's probably uh, some sort of... Uh, couple things put in anyway you need to clean it and I don't know if there's any oils or residues in there to, to that they that came from the processing plant that I haven't cleaned out yet so just to be safe you can do this if you want I don't care what you do it's your bike but the main thing is is you just want to get the dust and dirt out of there okay but I'm gonna go a step further and I'm gonna use surface prep on a towel um, to get any residues and oils out of there to help that stick better. And this surface prep is by CMX. Uh, removes waxes, oils, polishing residue, and fillers. Promotes an optimal bond for long-lasting ceramic protection. Silicone-free, anti-static. Simply spray on and wipe off. Okay, so um, it's basically a prep for ceramic coating. It gets all the crap off there. Yes, this is ceramic coated. Um, 
it's uh, every single time I do a video, I always do a shout out to these guys because it's freaking awesome. This this is ceramic coated. Yes, ceramic coated for matte finish, matte and satin finish only. It's by Dr. Beasley's. Go check them out. It's in my description or my other videos. So anyway, I'm just going to do that quick. Uh, I'm probably also going to uh, take off my saddlebags because then I can move the saddlebag around and you know just get at it a little better. Um, I don't know yet. You'll see. Okay, so the shelf system you're supposed to put in first if you have it. Um, and so I put in the shelf system this just now. It literally took me 10 minutes. That's it. And this is what it looks like. All your stuff is right here. It is removable. This part, this, uh, this back wall right here is removable and this shelf is removable. So if you need to put like a 24 pack or a 12 pack in here or something big, you can take this out if you need to and set it in your other saddlebag. But, um, or you could put like your wallet in there or your phone um, or your gloves or your sunglasses or your car keys. And then because this is remote storage lock, you put your car keys in there. You still have your key fob or your house keys. Boom, lock it, and it's there. So, and that's it. It's pretty cool. It's really simple. This you have to be careful of. This you have to be careful of. It's that part right there. It's a separate little piece, and if you don't do it properly, you're going to flip it upside down, and you won't get it right. You might put the left one on the right and the right one on the left, so don't do that. Um, so you see how the notch goes down? This will come up, but that notch is down. They're exactly the same shape. I almost put it like this. I almost put it like that, but I had to stop and think about it and be like, okay, what's going there? I need to be able to slide it in and out. So it can't be this one because I need the notch to go, I need this, this board to go down and sit there. So I was like, okay, this must be the wrong one. But they, it took me like a solid 30 seconds to 40 seconds to figure out, no, that I don't think this is the right one. So just be careful on that. Um, so yeah, but that's it. Um, now I'm going to, uh, uh, now I'm going to uh, finish the other side just to get those out of the way so I can start on the finishing kit. And the finishing kit, <laughs> <clears throat> the finishing kit, I'll remove this, oh, I'll remove this, and the finishing kit goes all along on the inside here, okay, and they have, like I said, they have, uh, they have a pretty good diagram on which, which one does which, so I have to clean my lenses because they're dirty, and I'll be back at you in a second. just saw how quick and easy that was literally 10 minutes uh, total uh, I'd actually say about five minutes actually because it took me about 10 minutes to figure that one out and then five minutes to figure this one out um, and uh, yeah awesome let me show you how easy it is to take out since I'm here okay since I just put these in so this comes out and this comes out all right it's best to this this outside thing bends a little bit so use that capability and take it out so <clears throat> pull it back just a little bit and slide that out pull it back just a little bit and slide that out bada bing bada boom baby
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the directions. It says left, so that goes on the left saddlebag, and I'm going to follow directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, there you go. So what I found out, what I found out is like, just like Legos, okay? I, I did play with a lot of Legos when I was a kid, but yet this was still confusing, okay? So for example, you just saw me struggling with this piece right here. I thought it went back here, okay? Because I just thought it did. So I was trying to figure it out back and forth, left and right, um, about you know, upside down, inside, you know, and it wasn't working. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I keep looking at here and it doesn't say on the instruction sheet, when you w w look at the, when you look at the saddlebag, this is the front. I'm sorry. See, I already confused it. This is the front, okay? So when you look at this, this is the front, this is where the rider sits, right here, okay? And this four is right here, but this number six says backside, okay? But in, in, a, in accordance to which way is this, the saddlebag flipped on the picture, I, I didn't know, I had to figure it out. So the best thing that I did, that I, I I will do on this saddlebag is they all come with these little plastic there these backings that aren't that you peel off the stick take these and just set them in there and figure it out first okay before you before you do I mean you can do it either way you want but um, you know it's just look at the diagram first if you put in now you don't have to go in order that's another thing I figured out you don't have to go in order. You could put four and six in first, okay, so you know which is the backside or whatnot. The other thing I realized is that you can, so you saw me put in the shelf system. You can get the, the Hard Street finishing saddlebag kit without the, the, uh, The shelf system however you just won't have this top part right here okay you won't have the top part and you'll see that on the other side but however when you do if you, if you put in the finishing kit without the shelf okay you really have to pay attention to where you put these things how far back you put them how far back you put these now there's guidelines see like this there's no way I could have mistaken this one you put it in the notches here um, are for the are for the bolts and you have that you have this part right here this part right here this part right here um, you just don't have these this part right here for the shelf system okay um, so you you can save yourself some money however it just won't look finished when you take out the, the shelf system they do sell the shelf system separately um, and I think it does actually complete, if you get the shelf system, it does make a complete looking box as you see here. Um, and, uh, so, so yeah, uh, I'm going to finish this up, um, and I'm going to go map out the next one and I'll, I'll show you a before and after before I start that on what it looks on the inside. Okay, and this is the Hard Street entire saddlebag right here. So this is the finished with, uh, with the shelf. Okay, looks very, very nice actually. This is nice soft um, type of uh, rubberized foam. I really like it, it won't scratch. 
Um, and here is what it looks like without it. Let's get out of the light. So it is a finishing kit and I do like it. Um, and I, there's not much I can say that, uh, that I would do anything different. Just like I said, be wary of how you put them in. Um, and, uh, I, like I said, I would, I would suggest to put them all in order. Um, you don't have to put them all in order, but put them in where they would go before you take the backing off and then, and then take the backing off and, you know, know what I mean? So pre, how do you do it? Pre put it together before you put it together, I guess. So anyway, so that's, uh. I hope I'm not in focus or anything, but either way, uh, I've got to extend my... So I'm signing off. I really like them. Hard Street did a good job. When I called them, uh, I said, hey, look, where's... I ordered them, and I said, hey, look, I ordered it six weeks ago. Where's my package? And he was like, oh, well, let me just double check because we had a, uh, we had a, a mail delivery truck. Something happened. So they, I got a call back the very next day by the same person and said, hey, look, we found them. They, they were still at the post office. We're very sorry. Um, and we'll, we'll do some extra stuff for you. And I said, hey, great, thanks. Can you do something else though for me? I hear or understand that you might have uh, some tan hard street stuff. Do you still have those in stock? I can't, I can't find them on the website or something. He goes, you know what? Let me go look, see if I can do something for you. And he calls me back again within like 30 minutes. He goes, hey, it's, it's me again. And uh, yes, we do have the tan ones. Uh, they they were might have been back ordered or something, but we're going to throw them in and, and take out the light gray ones. I wanted the light gray ones because there was contrasting. But then while those six weeks were going through, I heard that they had tan ones. And, you know, my orange bike autumn would look better with tan ones, not gray. However suit yourself what you will. I'm not saying that they will give you tan ones. I'm just saying that they may have had someone laying around. Hopefully, maybe if you guys do a lot of, um, uh, hey, I want the tan ones. Maybe they'll put them back into production. Who knows? Um, anyway, see you later. Go get yourself some hard street finishing saddlebag kits. You won't regret it.